Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great today. So days ago, I put out a video on CERN's decision to restart the Large Hadron Collider on July the 5th. And of course, on July the 5th, the Large Hadron Collider was restarted again. I think it was the third or fourth time they're restarting it from the first time they started uh, that Large Hadron Collider. You know, but there are a few important things I want you to know about this restart that happened on July the 5th and so many other things surrounding it, which I am going to share with you today. But the first thing we need to look at with that restart is the energy level at which they began to collide particles at the Large Hadron Collider. So for many people who may not know, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN was originally built to collide particles at a maximum capacity of 7 TeV, tetra electron volts, right? But guess what? On July the 5th, they were able to collide particles at 6.8 TeV. So practically and technically speaking, it's assumed that the Large Hadron Collider is at this moment colliding particles at its maximum capacity. Okay, if in the previous collision processes there were manifestations of paranormal events and demonic faces and images that came out which now led to a lot of scientists who are God fearing to begin to dig deeper into it to say what is going on here. There is some paranormal activity associated with this particle collision. And some of them began to show us hidden images that were not meant to come out before. And we started seeing faces that came out of these collisions. We started seeing in the news that there was a particle that they were not expecting to see from collision, which they call the ghost particle that showed up. A mysterious particle yet to be confirmed is bringing excitement to a group of scientists out of Switzerland. Certain researchers at a physics lab near Geneva are investigating the possibility of a new unexpected ghost particle. Scientists say the unknown particle may have appeared during experiments while using the Large Hadron Collider. The machine detector has pointed out bumps in their data, and these unknown bumps are said to be more than double the mass of a carbon atom. The interesting part is some scientists believe there isn't a theory at the moment that includes this mysterious particle. George Wiegelin, a German theorist, says it's something being looked into at the moment. He says this does not exclude the possibility that such a signal could actually exist. On the contrary, it would be even more exciting if a signal were observed that does not seem to fit into our present models. While more experiments are still in the works, it's a possibility this ghost particle could be a new discovery. Senior scientists will be discussing their work publicly on Thursday about the undiscovered bumps. Scientists say if this discovery is confirmed by Atlas, it will be considered real and possibly something completely revolutionary. They are opening up the portal to another dimension. Which dimension? The pits of hell. In fact, I watched a video where they were actually giving the keys to the sun scientists that this is the key to the Large Hadron Collider. And immediately what came to my mind was the keys to the gates of hell. They opened the gates of hell and they let the demons out. I covered this in my videos. And you can listen to other scientists who are God-fearing. Even the ones who are not God-fearing have told us that the danger of doing this far outweighs whatever the scientists may think is the importance of that Large Hadron Collider thing there. Steve Hawking told us that this is going to destroy humanity and destroy our world. And yet, nobody listened. And the guy was an atheist until he died. He told us, yet yeah, they continued with it. And they don't want anybody to talk about what is really happening there. And today, on July the 5th, They've started colliding particles at an energy level that they've never collided particles before. In other words, whatever number of demons were let into our world through the previous collisions, they will now be multiplied by one million percent.
there will be chaos and disaster all over the world. By virtue of this, that has started. But nobody in the news networks will tell you that this is where it's coming from. That's why you have people like us. I'm about to share with you some things that actually happened at the same time or the same month as this same so-called larger drone collider restart that are beyond mere coincidences. Please follow me diligently. The first of them is the Georgia guide stones that blew up. You know, I'm not one of those people who will come and begin to argue over nonsense. I'm a researcher. I've been doing this for so many years. I don't believe in all this. Oh, this one is conservative. This one is liberal. This one is redneck or redhead or whatever they call themselves. And I don't, I don't care about those things. What I deal with is timing. I deal with situations. The Bible says the children of Isaac understood the time. I deal with timing. Large Hadron Collider was restarted. No long after it was restarted, the next thing we saw, we saw that the Georgia Guide Stones had been blown up. I have been making videos about Georgia Guide Stones for the longest time since 2008, 2009. The devil was mimicking God. God gave us 10 commandments to guide our lives on earth. Things that if we continue to do them, we will end up meeting with him in the kingdom. The devil now went and gave his own Ten Commandments to his Illuminati followers. And one RW Christian was the one who sponsored it, we heard. And it was erected in Georgia. Nobody knew how we got erected. Several thousands have gone to visit that site. So many videos have been made about that site. How come all of a sudden they restarted the Large Hadron Collider for the first time in so many years that it's been standing there? The thing just came down, blown up. The Ten Commandments of the Devil was written there in about 12 languages. And do you know the first item on that Ten Commandment? Maintain the world population to under 500 million. That means killing off at least 90 to 95% of the world population. That's mass genocide, mass depopulation agenda that we have all seen play out before our eyes in our world. That's the devil's number one commandment. On that Georgia guide stones, the God of heaven gave 10 commandments to Moses. Where did he give them? On tablets of stones. And the devil gave his own on multiple stones. And they were still 10 commandments. Now, the point is, why did they get blown up? It doesn't matter who carried out the blowing up. Why did it happen at the same time, shortly after the Large Hadron Collider was restarted? Because... All the items that are written on that stone, the time for it to manifest has come and the forces of darkness that will carry out the manifestations in our world are here now. That's why they blew it up. If you don't believe me, just save this video and keep your ears on the ground and keep your eyes on the street. You will see with your eyes and hear with your ears what manner of chaos will break out in our world and how they are going to do everything within their power to fulfill every single thing written on that tenth commandment of Satan written on the Georgia guide stones. That's why they blew it up. It wasn't a mere coincidence. There have been too many people who threatened they were going to destroy it so many years in the past. Nobody was able to destroy it. They had security around there. They had all kinds of protection because it became a tourist site. People were coming. They had more than 20,000 coming there every year. How can you tell me that somebody would just go over there and destroy it like that? No, it was timing. The time has come for the fulfillment of the stuff, the satanic agenda written on the Georgia guy's toes. That's why it got blown away. You don't need it anymore as an announcement. You're now going to see it as a performance. That's number one. Number two, right before the Large Hadron Collider was restarted, we had an announcement by Beyonce, and she announced the coming of a new album. It's called Renaissance, and Vogue presented that Beyonce album this way. You can see it on the screen. It says, Beyonce turns up the heat. 
She wears black and she sits on a red horse. A red horse. Where have we heard about a red horse before? Follow me to Revelation chapter 6 verse 4. The Bible says, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. Power was given to him that sat on the red horse to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Beyonce wearing black represents he that sat on the horse. The angel of death. A sword was given to this angel of death to take peace from the earth. And they shall kill themselves. That's why she is dressed in black. Because this is an angel of death sitting on a red horse, blood. The same Beyonce that gave us in Hold Up, her song that's called Hold Up, where she says she wiped her menstrual blood with a page from the Bible. Now she comes out and she's sitting on a red horse. The same thing the book of Revelation said. You're going to see another artist sitting on a black horse. You're going to see another one sitting on a pale horse. They are telling you these things because these are things coming. None of this is done by accident. Beyonce could have done any other artwork for her album. Dark angel that will bring about massive bloodshed in our world. Go to your Bible. Revelation chapter 6 verse 4. There is the pale horse and there is the black horse. They all have their own symbolisms. Beyonce is ushering in this one. Is to tell you that what CERN did is not a coincidence because now you're turning off the heat at CERN by colliding particles at an energy they have never collided before. That means they have turned off the heat more than double the last energy they collided the particles at before. So they are turning off the heat at CERN. Beyonce is turning off the heat on your soul. That's what is going on. The heat is turned up everywhere you turn. From CERN to the entertainment world to the political world. And that takes us to where Biden is. Just so you understand the implication of what Biden announced recently. Let me read you the caption. The caption here says, GOP blasts Biden's unconstitutional global initiative to replace Christianity with atheism. You know what is atheism? Atheism is a belief system that doesn't acknowledge the existence of God. So Biden is about to use American taxpayers' money to promote atheism, people who don't believe there is God. Let me read you what Jim Banks, a representative, said to Biden when he was tabling his displeasure. It's one thing for the department to be tolerant and respectful of a wide range of belief systems and to encourage governments to respect the religious freedom interests of their citizens. It's quite another for the United States government to work actively to empower atheists, humanists, non-practicing and non-affiliated in public decision making, the letter read. Any such program for any religiously identifiable group in the United States would be unconstitutional. Now, what Biden is actually trying to do, which is why they're raising alarm, is that the way the atheist believes there's no God, the way the humanists believe that human beings are the God, that there is no other God anywhere, Biden wants that belief system to be spread like wildfire so that younger generation coming up will no longer believe there is God. They will start believing what these guys are believing. Even those of them who believe that trees are gods, that animals can be dogs. He wants those things to be spread. That's why they are budgeting money for it. If it was to protect these individuals, then you will ask, who is it that is harming them or discriminating against them? Nobody. These guys carry out their activities wherever they want. Nobody. No record of any major discrimination against atheists or humanists or non-identifiable or whatever they call themselves. No record of it. Why then are you budgeting billions of U.S. taxpayer money after spending billions in Ukraine? 
a country that is not affiliated with NATO, that is not affiliated with EU, where you have a pact. You are now spending money again on people who don't believe. Them. So Biden technically wants to spread godlessness, not just in America, but all over the world. Read my lips. You are living in a new era in this world today. If you don't recognize it now, you'll recognize it tomorrow. You'll be discriminated against for saying you are a Christian. And that's what these people are promoting. That's why this amount of money is going to be budgeted to promote godlessness in our world. All happening at the same time that the Large Hadron Collider is restarted. This Large Hadron Collider is not shutting down again for another three years. Constantly, particles are colliding. Ghost particles are coming out. Forces are coming out. Hell is opening wider and wider by the day. And these guys are pouring into our world, creating chaos, fighting. You have to say, when the first sack of the horse, a, a sword was given to it that they may kill themselves. The hour has come, people of God. The hour has come. Wake up from your slumber. If you're a Christian, wake up from your slumber. If you're not a Christian, give it another thought. Pay attention. The Bible isn't just a religious book. It's a book of life. I agree with you. There are too many things that are supposed to be there that are not there. There are a few things that are there that have been watered down. But for the most part, the Bible is a book of life. And Christians aren't the only ones who access the Bible and what it contains. Read your Bible. Study it alone or with your family. And make sure that you change your life for the better. The Bible says that when these things begin to happen, if you go to the book of Matthew chapter 24, Mark 13, and Luke 21, you see where the Bible says that when these things begin to happen, the love of many will wax cold. There will be a great falling away. So many people's hearts will faint. But if you are psychologically prepared ahead of time, you will not fall within the category of these people whose hearts are going to fail and their loss will wax cold. I'm telling you today, wake up and wake up and wake up and be ready. Remember my old instructions and advices. Stock up on foods. Have physical cash saved somewhere that you can easily access it. You can see now that there is so much scarcity going on around the world. You can see famines happening in so many parts of the world. So many people are thinking, oh my goodness, is this going to go on forever or is it going to stop? Listen, there is no plan for these things to abate. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. I am not being a prophet of doom. I am only announcing to you what I have seen that must happen. I'm telling you the truth. I'm not happy doing these things, but I'm telling you the truth. Prepare yourselves so that your heart does not faint. Father, please give us the grace. I know many people run away from messages like this because they're scared. They're petrified. You can't blame people. We're humans. But God, we pray. We pray. We can already feel the dampening effect of these wicked forces of darkness in the air. We can already see what they are doing to our Christian lives. We can already see what they're doing to our children. Father, we need a renewed strength. We need a renewed power, renewed wisdom, renewed knowledge to face these dark forces. We know that we can't pray these things away. But we also know, Father, that we can live through it and do so victoriously. Help us, Lord. Strengthen parents of God who are losing it already with their kids. Strengthen young men and women who are losing it with their lives and their emotions. Strengthen the younger ones who are being distracted every day with satanic enticements. Wake us all up, O oh God, and point us in the direction of life that we may turn our backs to death and embrace life. 
Thank you, Father, because I know that you are more than able to do this. We give you all the glory, O God, in the most exalted name of our Lord and King Yeshua HaMashiach. We have prayed. Amen. Love you guys. Thank you.